The Ministry of Power has disclosed that some sections in the new Electricity Bill 2022 will dilute the powers of the Ministry to effectively supervise agencies under it. Minister of Power Abubakar Ali raised the concern of the Ministry on Monday at a public hearing on the proposed Electricity Bill 2022 organized by the Senate Committee on Power. Our correspondent Mujisola tells us more in this report. Gathered in this all are key stakeholders in Nigeria's power sector and members of the Senate Committee on Power. They are here at this public hearing to discuss and make recommendations on the proposed Electricity Bill 2022, which is aimed at revamping the country's epileptic power supply. Chairman of the committee and sponsor of the bill, Senator Gabriel Suswam, explained that if the proposed legislation is passed into law, it will drive and promote investors' confidence and ensure a sustainable power sector. This be when passed, we usher in the legal framework to stimulate the de deployment of relevant regulatory and policy measures that will accelerate growth in power generation capacity. They are concerned, however, that the bill limits the powers of the state to make laws for electricity between their own jurisdiction. The Minister of Power, Ali Abu Bakar, who was also at the hearing, says the bill waters down the powers of the minister to coordinate and supervise the sector. In the bill, these powers appear to be severally diluted as they are in several areas subject to prior consultation with the Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission, NAC. Section 51B, Section 51C, Section 51G, and Section 52. Any such limitation on the power of the minister has the potential to hinder efficient coordination of the ministry and its agencies impede the minister's ability for accountability as it hinders seamless reporting to the president. Other components of the bill include the establishment of a tribunal to enhance quick resolution of disputes in the electricity industry, strengthening sanctions against energy theft and cross-subsidy for electricity payments. A responsibility without sufficient powers is a challenge for the commission. And therefore, we would want to prevail on the Senate to ensure that the electricity bill clearly empowers the Commission to enforce its regulations and orders, especially on matters relating to corporate governance, uh, business continuity, safety in the industry, and similar matters. Meanwhile, governors of the 36 states of the Federation under the ages of the Nigeria's Governors Forum have strongly rejected the bill, saying it is against the interest of the state and it seeks to re-establish a centrally controlled electricity sector. Mujisola Matomi, TV360 News.